faces. It's Clary Berry and I am here to talk to you today about boobs. Who doesn't like to talk about boobs, right? Definitely part of the itty bitty titty committee over here and I am totally okay with that. It wasn't always that way. I'm not going to be bashing anybody even though obviously I'm going to be talking about Freely and Banana Blondie. And the reason for that is because of the veganism and the reason for making this video like i said is not to bash them but it is to kind of raise awareness for not only the fact that breast implants are not vegan in any way shape or form but they are definitely not healthy i just feel like there needs to be more speaking out against breast implants especially from the people who got them i feel like if you're the leader of a vegan movement or you know were or whatever your you know whatever your deal is especially if you're on the health side as well, you know, you're trying to be healthy, then I really feel like you should take responsibility and instead of just flaunting your boobs and trying to get views or whatever, that you should really speak out against them. And again, numerous reasons for that. Um, number one being that, yeah, they're not, they're not vegan at all. And, you know, I think Freely's excuse and Banana Blondie's excuse is that, oh, well, I got them before, before I went vegan, before I knew that they do animal testing and all of this stuff. And yes, I mean, if you're wondering, they do, they do animal testing and it's horrific. It's not pretty. It's not cute. It's no better than any other animal testing. And the thing about veganism is, and the definition of veganism is it has to do with, if at all possible, and obviously breast implants are an optional totally cosmetic surgery so no reason to get them and I feel like every day that you're wearing them and especially flaunting them you're kind of promoting them because everybody can tell it's not like they look real <laughs> at all all the anesthetics all the anesthesia all of it medication it's all tested on animals I mean, supporting that industry, big pharma, especially optionally, is not ethical in itself. I mean, coming from someone, you know, like Freely, who tries to be just anti, you know, big pharma and tries to do natural methods and stuff, I would at least want to have a video from her that speaks out against them. They test on rats, they test on rabbits, and then they just kill animals at like eight weeks. The thing that people don't realize is that breast implants, they do require this maintenance. You have to go in and check. You have to make sure they're not changing. You have to get felt up. You have to pay big pharma. You know, obviously they can rupture. Obviously that's another reason why I'm doing this video. Um, somebody in my family, I'm not going to, you know, tell their personal business all over the internet. Um, but somebody in my family has had silicone implants for years and years and years and years and years and years, and years. Um, they actually got paid a little bit you know relatively small amount on a on a settlement because they did rupture and they were in there for again probably decades before because they don't tell you that's the thing people perhaps even banana blondie and freely and whoever else you know may possibly think that they're fine and that they don't need to go back to check on them and that they don't need to take them out and that they don't need to speak out against it. it's the fda i don't know why they even have approved these they actually allowed breast implants to be um, on the market for i think decades before they actually um, decided to pass them and we all know that FDA has a huge conflict of interest I've talked about that on this channel before it doesn't make sense to go for the to, to be in charge of the financial as well as the safety side of it they actually took the silicone implants off the market but now they're back on the market so people are still getting them and again they're not giving you warnings the same people who you're consulting with when you're getting these are the same people who are trying to sell them to you who are getting paid because you're getting breast implants again the fda banned the silicone implants in 92 for fears that they might cause cancer lupus other things and the person that i know now has a lot of lupus like symptoms um that she definitely attributes to the breast implants so again a lot of complications can arise okay not just the scarring hardening rupturing wrinkling lopsided all of this stuff is going to need follow-up care okay so again what you're doing there is you're basically investing in more anesthesia more medication more things that have been tested on animals so it's basically like a downward spiral 
There's a rare cancer, lymphoma, anaplastic large cell lymphoma. Again, I mean, this is a lot of money going to Big Pharma on something that is completely animal tested. How, how can you just go through your day and not address this? Again, it can change your whole breast. There can be bleeding, there can be infection. I read something about and saw pictures of them getting moldy. And it's not just the silicone ones that are causing problems. If you go to some sites and probably if you talk to some doctors, they're gonna tell you that, you know, oh, there's no maintenance required and it's perfectly fine, but they're not designed to last a lifetime. Just lots of complications, as I've mentioned. They say that you should get an MRI scan every two to three years if you have silicone ones. And that itself can really cause problems in itself, um, which I'll talk about in just a second. And it also can make it harder to detect cancer. So again, if you're getting more and more cancer buildup and then you have to go, I mean, all of the cancer drugs are going to be tested on animals. It's, it's like a downward spiral. It can really help save lives. You know, it's not just even, it's not just animal lives as far as being vegan, but it's a lot of, um, you know, human woman lives as well. And you can find research published by the Natural National Research Center for Women and Families. They have a long list of risks. Chronic breast pain, nipple numbness, obviously surgical risk, capsular contracture, skin death, additional surgeries to deal with problems, additional surgeries if you're dissatisfied with the way that it looks, disfigurement, arthritis and joint pain, death, autoimmune disease, debilitating autoimmune disease, silicone migration into lymph nodes. There's actually not a ton of, st of studies that have been done on this, so they actually don't even know where it goes. Metal poisoning, cognitive impairment, memory loss, fatigue, arthritis, joint pain, disfigurement. It's just not good. And basically, all implants are eventually going to leak at some point. It's just a matter of when. Um, they say silicone breast implants last about 7 to 12 years, but they don't tell you this. Some of them break during the first few months and others can last for 15 years, but the fact is you're not going to know if they're leaking. So again, in the case of my family member, leaked for decades, didn't know. Now she's having to pay money on lots of different, not only pharmaceuticals from the doctor, but over-the-counter medications to try to deal with the symptoms of her lupus. So again, Huge, huge, huge downward spiral. According to FDA, scientists, most women had at least one broken implant within 11 years, and the likelihood of rupture increases every single year. So again, it's only a matter of time. Silicone 7 migrated out of the breast capsule for 21% of the women, although most of them were unaware that this happened. 50% are ruptured by 10 years. When it gets to 15 to 20 years, you're looking at 90% are ruptured. 90%. So you may think you're going in for this one non-vegan procedure, but it's all of these procedures are going to potentially lead to more and more complications. If you add it up right, medical complications is like the third leading cause of death and infections can be spread in these places. It's just not good. <laughs> and I just really, you know, like I said, I wanted to kind of feed two birds with one scone, if so to speak, in this video and warn people not to get them, but also um, tell people that they're not vegan. So, you know, hopefully this can help not only people, but animals as well. It's just sad. It's sad that, you know, women are basically pressured into doing this for aesthetics and, and whatnot. Um, and again, no, I'm not, I'm not judging because I was there too. I totally wanted them. And if I was rich enough or old enough or whatever, I, I, I probably would have even got them. According to Nancy Bruner, author of Breast Implants, Everything You Need to Know, almost half of women who have uh, silicone implants will experience a rupture in six to 10 years and one in five um, have silicone migrate to different parts of the body. And again, it's just one in five are gonna require additional surgery. One in five within three years. And that's, that is for silicone clearly established link between the cell ALCL, the lymphoma. Not only all of this, more likely to have suicide, four times more likely to commit suicide, lower self-esteem, memory loss, shoulder and back pain, obviously breast problems, breast in, um, hardness, sensitivity, rashes, also joint pain and other autoimmune disease. So again, if you get autoimmune disease, you're on medication, medication, medication. I, I mentioned bold, mold, bacteria, 
biotoxicity. Dr. McCullough speaks out against this as well. They can, you can just have anaphylactic type of reactions. It's crazy. So again, with Freely's platform, obviously, if she spoke out against this, or if Pamela Anderson did, or maybe they have, but I feel like not enough. If they have, I think I remember Banana Blondie, you know, they'll address it and they'll say like a video, but it's usually just like in defense of themselves or their choice or kind of a brushing it off. Like, oh, well, that was before I was vegan and that's all. And I think they should speak out about the health risk too, especially if you're doing a health channel. So many more. I mean, I could go on and on and you can look this up yourself. And after they take them out, they get better in a lot of these autoimmune disorders and different symptoms. So, and then I mentioned that I was going to talk about the uh, MRIs. And the problem with MRIs is that they can actually leave toxic heavy metal residue in the brain. So again, this is going to lead to more health problems. So you're going to be required to go through more non-vegan, more invasive procedures, more costly procedures. Please, if you're considering them, don't do it. Please, if you're interested in hearing from Freely or Banana Blondie about this, please reach out to them and tell them, you know, show them this video, tell them to do a video on it, another video on it, letting everybody know.